Today I'm going to be talking about ESBLs. I'm going to be talking about what are they, what do they do, where do they come from, and why they're important. So ESBLs, they're also known as extended spectrum beta lactamases. They're microorganisms, so that means they're very small. You can only see them with uh, microscopes. And they're not like normal bacteria. They have plasmids, um, and the plasmids is the DNA that is found within bacteria. And these plasmids have evolved and changed over time to become antibiotic resistant. So antibiotic resistance means it is unusable to use antibiotics. So how this organism works is if you're inject if you ingest them, um, they will infect your blood and pretty much take over your body and you'll have an, a complete you know spread throughout your body of this infection of these bacteria and you can't take any antibiotics to treat them. Now people are like, well you can use other methods. There is really no other methods to get rid of it. That's the thing. That's why they're so important because there's such an issue with finding the answers. Um, you know, they're resistant to third generation cephalosporins. Those are the most strongest antibiotics that are used for patients with meningitis, um, really strong bacterial infections, UTIs. And when you have these infections, they can be deadly. I mean, you don't think of a UTI being deadly, but when you can't treat it and you have this infection, it just keeps on going and going and that's when it becomes deadly. 35,000 people die each year. Now we're talking about the coronavirus, it's all, you know, in our face, in our news, you know, and several thousands of people have died, but this is also a significant issue, but no one even really knows about it. Um, the main role of infection is in hospitals. Um, it's with patients that are in the hospitals for long duration from nine days to 30 days. So these are patients that are very sick with infections. And if there's an outbreak, almost all the patients in the urgent care unit gets this infection and they cannot get treatment with antibiotics, specifically the very strong antibiotics. Um, like first generation Antibiotics is like what you get prescribed from the doctor if you just get like a normal um, sick and you know it's the first kind of thing you're given to you. Second generation is the next step and the third generation is the next um, strength of antibiotics. So it spreads in nursing homes but also they don't really know where the organisms are coming from. They found it in food. Um, they find it you know on surfaces. They find it in like when they do procedures in the hospital, if they find on equipment, um, but they're, they're really having a hard time, you know, discovering where it originates from. And the research for it is so important. And that's why it's find, I find it so amazing to learn about and research it. Um, personally, I keep finding articles about, pretty much they keep evolving. These organisms, the plasmids, it's a, it's a ring the circle. Um, our DNA is a double helix, um, amino acids that bond, and then plasma is a circle. So viruses can come in and um, change the plasmids, and these viruses might be actually a reason why um, these plasmids are evolving and changing. And ESBLs, it's not just one form. There's hundreds of them. Um, and every year they're finding new forms that they didn't know existed, which is so difficult because if you find an answer or you could say um, a cure, I guess, for one ESBL, it might be totally different for another ESBL. Similar to cancer, you know, cancer is just not one, just one form. Uh, there's many different kinds of cancers. So, and it's constantly changing. So it's definitely a difficult process to grasp. Um, but overall, so just ESBLs, they're tiny organisms that have a plasma DNA that have changed over time to be antibiotic resistant. Um, and they produce enzymes 
that break down the medicine that comes in and once it's broken down it can't be functional anymore so the antibiotics don't work they don't kill off the bacteria so these enzymes kill the antibiotics coming in and deteriorate them and denature them so lastly i'm going to finish off just saying that there definitely needs to be more research in the area it's a growing problem it's a growing problem because there's more um i guess springs of evolution every year there's new forms of them every year and there seems to be even not a single cure yet for them and it's just constant um agonizing pain for these patients in there for several months it's several months and you know a handful of treatments just to try to guess of what's right and that you know it's racking up the hospital bills it's really hard in their bodies um i did research on a, a girl a little girl a 12 year old girl who um became completely blind in her one eye. Um, she's in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. She can't use her legs. Um, the doctor said that she probably won't get better very much at all. She might be able to gain some strength back, but I, th these diseases that they're causing are debilitating. So I think research is so important for ESBLs and the future of medicine. So thank you for watching.